Hi, good morning, everybody. Just want to come on and give a quick update. Um, I did not do a video yesterday, but I did do a post. Um, seeing very good results in regards to uh, the past month. Well, total of what is going on two months now. Uh, lost 17 pounds. Um, in the time frame of a month, I lost 9.12 uh, inches in a total of seven pounds. So in 30 days, I lost seven pounds and 9.12 inches, which is great. So one second. So if you hadn't had a chance yet, go ahead and check uh, out my post that I did um, with the with the information that I um, posted. Um, it, it are the results, and also I did some before and after pictures. So it's a huge difference from where I, when I started. The plan, it is so encouraging just to see, you know, how far I've come along and just to keep me encouraged to keep going. Um, so, um, now one of the challenges now is to keep moving and it's cold, been cold. And um, I've been really busy. So I've been busy uh, with work and also other things that I have been having to do as well outside of work. So it's been a pretty... These past few weeks has been very, um, very busy, but I kept to it. Despite all that, I was able to stick to, you know, the, the plan and um, continue to, you know, have results from that, you know, to show results and see results from that. Um, so what is my um, goal for the weekend? It is to stay in ketosis. It is to try to move more. I'm going to do my best. Um, not trying to make this a hard uh, thing for me and not trying to burden myself with this plan um just trying to do the best that i can do and that's all i can do i'm getting older so you know have to always <laughs> think before i do you know make sure that this is something that i can do first let's say like oh man i knew that that's that's gonna take a little bit more time to do but still stay focused on the program um, now this moving, moving more, is going to have to, I'm going to have to ease more into that. I was doing really good the first, the first month, the first month and a half, I was doing really good. But now because the weather's colder, it's put a, put a little, um, what do you call it? It's, it's changed the game. The cold weather has changed the game for me a little bit when it regards to, in regards to me trying to get, you know, my steps in and trying to move more because it's cold in the morning. That's when I really want to, you know, get up in the morning and get it done. But it's that cold weather is just, it's just kick, it's been kicking me. So I got to figure out um, how to get past that. Now, yesterday I did get my steps in because I walked in the evening. So um, I might try to do that, but it was a little chilly out there yesterday. So, um, but even so, maybe maybe probably trying to do it around that time, maybe two, three, four o'clock. I mean, really, probably around four. That's probably the best time to, to try to do that. But having to keep myself motivated to do it because, you know, that's around the time I get off of work. And sometimes it's like, you know, when you get off of work, you just want to chill out. <laughs> so I have to probably, um, what I might have to do is just, hey, don't chill out until you get your steps. <laughs> but that's going to take time for me to try to adjust to that, but we'll see. I'm going to continue to, to try to figure out ways to, to do that. One second. So, sorry about me. I'm moving from room to room because I'm having to check different things. <laughs> um, well, today is a work from home day for me. It is Saturday, yeah, but we're working on a, a huge project. So, um, but anyway, um, but that's something that I'll have to work on to make sure that I get, I'm moving more. Now this weekend, I'm going to have to, you know, figure that out as well, how to move more. Um, but at the same time, not making it, it a burden, but we shall see. Um, so far, I'm glad with my progress. Um, still keeping the electrolytes down. These, I love these. So these been a big, huge help for me. Um, also getting the water in as well. And that's very important. You definitely got to take water. Yeah. Make sure you get your water with these as well. When you're taking these, cause it actually tells you to, um, 
it's a drink like eight ounces of water when you take one capsule a day. So make sure you're doing that. But at the same time, I have to tell you also that if you are on medication, make sure you are letting your physician know, you know, if these are okay for you to take. And these are actually called advanced electrolytes. So get your doctor's approval before taking those. I'm not on any medication, so it's not going to interfere with anything, um, as I stated previously in some of my other videos. So hopefully you will enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy your weekend, and I'll be talking to you soon.